Your predictions for 2023 are all time stamped and linked together so that you can binge watch the entire year ahead. We have episode one is your general overview. Episode two is love time stamped for in relationship, in situationship, and new love. Episode three is for money, and episode four is about your career. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. I'm so pleased to have you here, and Happy New Year, my friends. Pisces, what are the good things coming into your life this year? It's a general reading. It's an overview of 2023. Let's look and see what the general energies are for you, the messages from Spirit. We have Enlightenment. Okay, so you're going to learn something that's very valuable. Something that you may have already learned is coming to light. Something that you need to change or that you desire is going to be made available to you. I love it. This is something that you've learned, a lesson that you have really incorporated into a higher level of wisdom for the year. All right, passage, okay, so standing stones. You're going through some sort of growth. It looks as though you're passing into from possibly some some times that were a little bit troubling, but you know, this doesn't mean anything. It just means a rite of passage into a greater level of enlightenment, great energy for you. And knowledge, wow, Pisces, let me know in the comments be below what is happening here. So it is a general reading, so it'll be different for everybody, but wow, what a powerhouse here learning something that you have learned is going to level up your life in a brilliant way look at the enlightenment it's like a gold building with the light emanating from it so it does bring wealth and abundance it is something that you've never experienced before i love this energy for you pisces it looks like it's one of abundance and somehow you're manifesting through your knowledge and your wisdom something new for the coming year okay so let's see what we have here at the bottom of the whoops look at what flipped over a head over heart decision about either a relationship or a job career something that is going to allow you again a rite of passage because i think that intellectually you have knowledge which is air spirit and that is king of swords energy so the overall theme of the year is what you've learned helps you ascend to a much higher level of success this year something you can count on something rock solid taurus energy very compatible with you all right so we're going to do a celtic cross spread and see what your energies are and see what story is going to unfold let's see and see what is what's going to be so positive because this looks amazing the ace of swords the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth is your friend you are not accepting anything or anyone in your life that doesn't operate at a level of high, a high level of integrity is how I would say that. Look at that. She's like, basically, if you don't tell me the truth, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> That's where you're at, Pisces. We have throwing caution to the winds. So we have air energy. We have uh, the energy of the wands, which is enthusiasm, excitement, taking actions on what you know. This is also enlightenment. Look at that. You know, she's enlightened. That beam of knowledge is coming out for her. So we have it right here. Something that you learn is going to be amazing. For many of you, you may be leveling up. There may have been a situation that wasn't fair to you. Some of you may actually be involved in some sort of adjudication, lawsuit, something that needs to be balanced out, whether it's karmic or an actual lawsuit. But it does look like you are set for a possible victory here. So let's see what we have. We have Aries Energy. Nice. So you have the energy of the powerhouse businesswoman that is a feminine energy that is very masculine in the way that they approach life. You may be working with this person, but really, I think it embodies your spirit that, you know, Aries is the next sign after Pisces as we go around the astrology wheel. So I feel as though you are ready to burst on the scene. A lot of fun, looking sexy, looking great, very dynamic, with a very receptive energy to what other people have to tell you. And then you're able to sort of be an alchemist and, and create something new. 
we do see you holding back financially you're going to save money this year you're very focused on um, holding your money in your handbag so to speak whether it's metaphorically it doesn't matter whether you're male or female but we have definitely you are looking at holding on to your heart protecting yourself protecting your money we have the energy for you in the near future, early in the year, of Ace of Wands, a brand new opportunity that you've created. You're going to throw caution to the winds. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, brand new energy. Fantastic. My gosh. We'll clarify things to see what else can be revealed here, of course. Let's see. Seven of Cups. So this is the energy of Scorpio. It looks as though someone or something in your surroundings is creating a lot of confusion. Many of you are feeling, I think here, the energy of trying to discern the truth about what's being offered. Now, you know, if you wanted to buy a business or you wanted to, whether it's a love relationship, no matter what area of your life, you have many, many options. But the advice here is choose carefully. We get the Ace of Coins, so I do think many of you are going to be looking at some ways or options in which to earn money. It does look like you have an offer coming in. If it's a relationship, it's a ring. You have three Aces right here. Unbelievable. Lucky you. All right. The Seven of Coins says behind the scenes what other people don't see uh, is that you are really working your energy whatever you've invested in here you're holding it you're holding the knowledge tight to your chest you're not telling anybody and it looks as though it's it's starting to pay off your wish fulfillment looks like it's coming to fruition so it does look as though you know your biggest fear is that it wouldn't pay off but it's showing that it does indeed the two cards that fell out as your outcome card is the three of cups a dear friend becomes a workmate that's a collaboration card the ace of coins with the three of cups in the same reading can mean the possibility of an engagement ring it you know we get the bridesmaids or this is like bridesmaids before the wedding dancing around you know enjoying life the three of coins is collaboration I'm not getting specific marriage cards, but oftentimes what I see today as a pro reader is that people live together as if they're married for 20 or 25 years. A ring is given. I know two of my best friends have done this. They've accepted a ring from their partner. They've been together and they've never married, but they have the engagement ring. So that's what I see, Pisces. You're in this energy of having to make a choice and it's going to be important that the choices that you make are based on the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth it looks like you move forward very passionately your money comes you know really is there for you your something that you have hidden a hidden investment starts to gain ground and pay off it can be a project it could be a book you're writing it could be a renovation you're doing but we see that part of the architect and two partners working together so let's see what we have here pisces great reading for you great reading all right so we have four pentacles what's that about ah you're holding back with somebody that you love pisces you're holding back somebody has returned to your life you're happy they've returned to your life they're making an offer you're holding back right now what's that about four of coins <laughs> oh my god four of coins four of coins you really are very afraid of having anyone impact your financial life so it does look like you are accepting the love portion of this offer the reunion is here we get that oh nice so the way you're viewing this situation is that you want to look forward, you want to have a partnership, you want to make a commitment. The truth is that you have passion for this person. You want this, but you are going to take the Knight of Pentacles approach. If you remember the fable of the hare and the tortoise, the tortoise won the race. The tortoise is slow moving. 
the rabbit moves very quickly, but the rabbit t- takes a nap and the tortoise just keeps plodding onwards. The Knight of Pentacles energy is very grounded, down to earth, practical, day in, day out, doing the work and seeing where it goes. And the Knight of Pentacles is the most slow moving knight, but he's also the knight with the money at the end of the day, becomes the King of Pentacles, the, a man, or, you know, an, a masculine energy of wealth, and abundance and success and a lot of happiness that goes with that Taurus energy. Very attached to the heart space, bringing a lot of joy and security to the people that you love. The High Priestess says that intuitively speaking, you know that whatever investments you have are going to pay off. You're very good like that. That, that can be Pisces energy or Cancerian energy. Here we have the moon. Oh, my God. You do your best thinking at night. You are going to have a lot of intuitive dreams this year, Pisces, more than you've had in a long time. I think when you were growing up, I think you were very intuitive. I think you had a lot of dreams. And I really think that, you know, at the end of the day, that you really you did not necessarily invest in those dreams. But now you're in this different energy. We have the Eight of Wands you are, excuse me, seven of wands, which is you knowing how to take care of yourself. You know, within the framework of a relationship, you are able to hold back. You're able to manifest the Ten of Pentacles this year. You're going to stay in control is how I see this. I feel as though you're going to go at your pace. You're taking a beautiful offer. You're not running with it. You're walking with it right to the bank. <laughs> this is this is a legacy marriage of abundance. A bride and groom are dancing here. We see the legacy of family, dogs, kids. Just a beautiful energy of two people working together with an architect. This is almost like the minister. The Three of Pentacles card is three people collaborating and in, in, in a more traditional deck this is it, uh, it always looks like an architect like honey let's put an addition on the house and look at here's the house you may be moving into something much bigger much more grand so Pisces there you have it those are the good things coming to you for 2023 thank you